What is the ink? When I refer to the anchor, you're right, you're both right, but I'm referring to one specific part and I'm talking about anchoring the spine into the ground. So it has to do with Ting Yu, and a lot of people that try to do Ting Yu, regardless of how long they've done it, get Ting Yu wrong, get this pelvic tilt wrong. A lot of people are over tilt, right? You may even see pictures of all kinds of different people, regardless of what their names are, <laughs> is irrelevant. What is relevant is when we are talking about anchoring, we're talking about the spine going straight into the ground. That is specifically the approach that we want. Yes? Through the heels. It does happen to be through the heels. However, it doesn't need to always remain through the heels. As, which, that's another thing, but I want to keep it as simple as possible. So, as simple as possible, we're talking about the spine being anchored into the ground. So we have this exercise that we do, we call the Ting Yu walk, or straight back walk. Yes, straight back is part of it, but it's not just having a straight back, because, uh, you know, I could be here and have a straight back, right? Uh, that is a straight back, but it's not anchored into the ground. You know, wrestlers have a straight back when they're going, but they don't have that anchor into the ground in the same way. So we want this anchor. How do you do it? You literally imagine your spine going into the ground. Certain aids that we have are the wall. Getting on the wall and making sure your spine is straight, then generally you're up and down and your spine is learning to get straight into the wall. We don't have this at first until we develop it. We have a natural curve in the back. This natural curve in the back is for shock absorption. It's what we do as we walk around, as we move. As we're trying to anchor our spine into the ground, we do not want this lumbar curve. It actually takes us out of the ground. It helps us with shock absorption. Okay? Additionally, when we're taking pressure from someone else, we don't want to have to push back. If we don't have this anchor, we're not, bringing, uh, we're not channeling their energy through and into the ground. So the anchor has to do with this. Really think about your spine getting heavy, 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 and anchoring into the ground. The opposite of that is the head being pulled by a string, chin is tucked. So from both ends, we're elongating. One goes into the ground, the head goes up into the sky. We don't want to be too far back here. We don't want to be too far up here. All these will mess up the anchor. Where this goes, generally the other thing goes, right? The other end goes. So keep that anchored into the ground. Questions? Yes? What's the difference between the anchor and the root? Is that the same thing? We just use things to work The anchor and the root, yep, yep. There's uh, the number one thing we want anchored is our spine into the ground. Because the lower spine into the ground, our lower dantian is generally the place that we hold energy in. So we're taking our energy and we're anchoring that energy into the ground, we're becoming one with the ground in a way that a lot of people just don't develop. They don't think of things that way. That's what we want. Our lower down 10 into the ground, as we do it through our spine, we can come, and then even as we walk, as we walk along, we're still maintaining that connection, whether we be, you know, Bill Mine, or we be, we're walking, or, or, or pivoting, right? All this, we're trying to keep our anchor the entire time. Does that make sense? It's very hard to do, especially when someone's pressure is coming at us. What do we want to do right away when pressure comes at us? Resist and come right on back against it. Upper body. Upper body, okay? So we forget immediately. We forget immediately about this anchor. The anchor helps us to not have to push, right? Because we're connected here and then this goes into them. The knees and the elbows go to them, 
the spine goes down into the ground, right? And that's how, you know, Bruce, if I'm, uh, if you have two hands and you're pushing forward, push, 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 push. You want me to keep thing you or just? No, don't no, you worry about it. I'm doing my thing you. Okay. So as that became imprecise to my center, I let it go. It just became a little bit not towards the center, right? So with that, I did very little work, whereas Bruce was working hard to push. You don't need to do so much work when you have your anchor and you have your stick, the stick analogy, as we talked about too. Any other questions on that? It's just a distraction of the other person that gets you out of it. And another thing, you're not used to doing it, right? You're not used to holding yourself in this position. That's why you'll come out of it. So if you're more used to holding yourself in this position, and when pressure's coming at you, you're used to that, you're used to going to that, that's your confrontation response, is boom, and you teach yourself that confrontation response, as opposed to, right, the opposite. Yes? In general, are you anchoring or conducting it through one leg at a time? One weighted leg at a time? Or For the most part, the yes. For the most part, there is always a substantial and an insubstantial foot, a yin and a yang. So it's usually off of one leg, right? We've got one post and the other one's pulling in together, kind of like one post and one tie down, one cable, right? The other one's cabling and pulling down, helping. Cool, any other questions? All right, let's practice this a little bit. Oh, yeah. So it's not only a matter of being on one leg like this because I'm limited to how low I can go, right? I come here, once I'm here, see my, I don't know if you can tell my anchor. Is my anchor lower than Bruce's? Maybe, maybe not. He's awful already naturally anchored more than me. Height is not an advantage in Wing Chun. <laughs> We're talking about anchoring, right? So I gotta really work my tail off, right? I gotta really work to get under. Go ahead, Ruth. And you also have to get close to him, yeah. That was the thing. You are ready to move on that left leg. Okay. The whole time. Okay, Whenever so in addition to your anchor, you have to bring in the yin. The yin is the anchor, ground. The yang is where you're headed. You've got to bring your goal in to the equation too. And you, you know, just playing defense. yeah, you didn't have both in mind. And that's the hard thing. You start bringing the other one in mind, you start forgetting about your yin. Yeah. And so it's this balance of the two and having both in mind at the same time that help you to... Same. Same. Same exact thing. Same. Good. So you yeah, so you're 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 turning one leg into the rooted you're kind of going back and forth between both of them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what yeah. side is gonna be best because it's not just only about being anchored, it's a matter of staying anchored, moving forward, and finding the path of least resistance.